Everyone is gathered looking at Gohan and Broly. A great battle is about to begin. Broly with a calm look asks, Is ready. Confident Gohan says, Yeah, let's see what you're capable of. The two begin to slowly fly upwards as everyone watches, eagerly awaiting combat. Gohan then, ready to say, There you go. He lunges towards Broly and strikes him. Broly parries his one-handed attack and pushes him back. At this moment, Gohan notices that the warrior in front of him actually has a lot of strength, so he decides to attack with more ferocity. He goes up attacking him with an impressive sequence of blows. Piccolo, who observes everything, smiles slightly. Gohan does not stop attacking, but Broly, using only one hand, manages to repel all attacks. Gohan starts to feel out of breath and realizes that Broly isn't taking it seriously. Then he decides to transform into a Super Saiyan. At this moment, Gohan raises his key, then starts screaming. Ah! Broly then said, Its power is really impressive, but... At that moment, Broly flies towards Gohan throwing a punch, which hits him directly in the face, throwing him away. Gohan doesn't believe in Broly's incredible strength. Vegeta sarcastically smiles and says, Pathetic! Alright partner, why don't you whack that like button and subscribe here to the channel so you don't miss any videos and stay well connected to our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Let's get back to the point. Gohan then again raises his power by transforming into a Super Saiyan 2. Going over Broly surprising him with his speed, the two begin to exchange blows, hitting each other with several punches and kicks. Gohan, at this moment, manages to throw Broly away and throws an energy sphere that hits him exploding in the air. A small smoke screen forms, and when it dissipates, it shows that Broly had stopped Gohan's attack with his hands. Gohan at that moment says, It's impressive, but I'm not done yet. Gohan flies towards Broly, hitting him in the face with a powerful punch, but Broly ignores it as if he wasn't feeling anything. He returns the attack hitting Gohan, who once again is thrown away. Then Broly flies towards him, who recovers quickly in the air. Looking in the direction that Broly was approaching, the two collide holding each other in the air. They start measuring strength, trying to push each other in the opposite direction. But Broly starts to take advantage. Gohan then headbutts Broly, making him dizzy. Then Broly punches Gohan in the stomach, making him duck, giving an opening for Broly to hit him from top to bottom, hitting the ground. Gohan at that moment stands up with his torn clothes smiling, saying, This really, really powerful guy is getting me really excited. At that moment, Gohan decides to use his bestial transformation, so he shouts for Broly. I've already managed to realize that you have impressive powers, so against you, I don't need to hold back. Gohan screams, releasing all the power of his key. <sighs> Broly looks impressed while Gohan transforms. Everyone there is extremely perplexed with the power that emanates from Gohan when he finishes transforming. Gohan looks seriously at Broly, who appeared to be happy, and at this moment says, You are amazing, but you are not the only one who has transformations. At this moment, Broly screams, Oh! All the warriors present there feel the crushing pressure of the legendary Super Saiyan. His absurd powers make everything start to shake. All the warriors are positioned in order to prevent themselves in case he loses control. Goku says, This guy always scares me when he does this. Vegeta looks at Goku and responds, Hopefully that idiot doesn't turn into that monster again. Broly finishes his transformation and is silently hovering in the air majestically. Gohan is not intimidated by the Saiyan. Gohan lunges at him and the two start hitting each other, destroying various things around with extremely powerful attacks. The two fly towards each other at an absurd speed and when they are, they are about to collide. Goku appears between the two using his teleportation and he says, I think you better stop this, otherwise you will destroy the earth. 
Then the two calm down and return to their base forms, and Gohan looking at Broly says, You are incredibly powerful. I hope one day we can face each other again, but next time I'll use everything I've got. Then Broly answers, I can't wait for that to happen, Gohan. Then the two shake hands as a gesture of respect. Vegeta approaches saying, Hey idiots, since you're done with this nonsense, how are we going to decide who gets into the time room to train? Goku then says, Vegeta, I think that if Gohan, Piccolo and Granola enter first, we can think of someone else to take to the tournament. Goku continues saying, I think it's better to go first, Gohan, Piccolo and Granola, then me, you and Broly. Vegeta agrees and responds, It's up to you. But I'm not going to waste my time going after more warriors. I'm going to spend more time with Bulma and the kids. Everyone looks impressed with what Vegeta has just said and is speechless. Piccolo then says, Who knew? Vegeta really cares about his family. And embarrassed Vegeta exclaims, Shut up you damn useless worm. I just meant that. I don't have to explain myself to you. Then Vegeta flies off and leaves. Gohan, Piccolo and Granola say goodbye to Goku and go to the Room of Time. Goku stands still for a while looking at nothing when suddenly he kneels down and starts screaming. Ah, I'm so hungry. I'm going home to eat something and then I can think of someone else. At that moment, Goku looks at Broly and says, Hey Broly, let's go to my house for lunch. Arriving at Goku's house, Goten comes running and says, Daddy! 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 I'm glad you're here! Goku then picks him up and introduces him to Broly. Then Titi approaches and Goku says to her, Hey Titi, have something for us, we're hungry to eat! Meanwhile, on the planet of destruction, Beerus decides to train a little and then on top of a tree, he sits meditating. Whis watches him and says, Mr. Beerus is really worried. I've never seen you dedicate yourself so much to training like this. Meanwhile, in several universes, they trained hard for the tournament. In an unknown universe, a dark voice speaks once again, saying, It's time to get ready. Soon it will all begin. A day has passed and it's almost time for Gohan and his friends to leave the room. Goku, Vegeta and Broly are outside waiting for their turn to enter. At that moment, the door opens and you can feel the impressive key of the warriors, who leave and approach and Goku speaks. You are very strong this time. The training was worth it. Goku looks at Granola and says, What did you think of training in the time room? And Granola answers, It's an amazing place. It's been a year since we started training there and our powers have increased exponentially. Goku smiles and says, out here, it's only been a day. Vegeta interrupts them saying, Let's go Kakarot. If I'm not, I'm going in alone. Broly and Goku then say goodbye to their friends and together with Vegeta, enter the room of time. Inside the time room, they start planning how they are going to train. Vegeta then says, Kakarot, first I'm going to fight this guy and defeat him and then I'm going to fight you and defeat you too. Goku then responds, I'm not just going to watch while you fight without doing anything. We're going to fight everyone against everyone. And so, we can see which of the three of us is the strongest. Vegeta then smiles sarcastically and says, I already expected you to say this, but this is my chance to find out which one of us is the most powerful Saiyan. Right now, a big Saiyan battle is about to start. The three stood looking at each other and began to release their ki, the pressure of their rottenness causing everything to start shaking even outside the room of time. Outside, Gohan, Piccolo and Granola when feeling those powers are impressed with that energy. Was it that Gohan, Piccolo and Granola got really powerful? What will happen in Goku, Vegeta and Broly's training? Regardless of what it is, it's more than important that you share your thoughts in the comments below so we can get into a crazy debate. Whack that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos. That's all there is to it and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.